Oh my lord, what a treat do we have today, ladies and gentlemen. As usual, stay tuned. This is not a guarantee. But I or we could say something brilliant at any moment now. You know how Tony Robbins keeps on saying, and that's what got him into the seminar business at first. He realized that you could condense decades into days. Well, with Katia Rave today, ladies and gentlemen, we're not compressing decades into days. We're compressing centuries into less than 30 minutes. We're talking, oh. she's currently running an awesome summit, turning leads into sales. And we have 18 speakers lined up here, which, you know, an average of 20 years in the business each, giving you expert tips and guidance and keynotes. And she will, I'm just going to grill her. We'll extract this knowledge and the things that were like little nuggets of gold from each presentation. So we're talking about 18 times 20 years, 360 years of knowledge boiled down to less than 30 minutes with Katia Rabi, ladies and gentlemen. Merci, 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 merci. Thank you so oh, much for having me. I'm so happy to have you, but I, I forgot the most important thing. Oh, thank you for the applause. Good Lord. So how's the summit going? I mean, we're right in the summit now. Everything's, you know, boiling and crazy. How's everything? Oh my gosh, it's doing amazing. All these speakers are bringing so much value. They're bringing tips and strategies to really help advance all of our, the people who are coming or in the audience and really all about how do we turn leads into sales? How do you really turn in all of the marketing effort then you know you as entrepreneurs have put in into and how does that convert into a client it's been absolutely amazing really amazing is this i believe that's the fifth edition of this one or is this the fifth total or, or just like of this particular one no 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 this is the fifth summit then we hosting And keeps on getting better and better. I believe this summit, we're looking at 150,000 or 100,000 people. Yeah, 160,000. Good Lord. So, I mean, if you're listening to this and you're thinking, well, how can I be a part of my next time? Catch that promote something. You better jump on board. I mean, I was lucky and privileged enough to be one of the speakers. And, and there's a free gift for everyone who's watching my talk. But I mean, next time Katia is doing something, you better jump on board. That's right. So how about I just, let's put you on the spot a little bit here. I'm just going to name a speaker that okay. was on the summit. You, you have the right to use, you know, your notes or just think yourself. Okay. What was, uh, now, of course, everybody listening is listening at different levels, right? So right. everybody has different type of notes, but your notes, what's, what was it, a takeaway or an angle or something that you really liked about this particular talk? So let me just um, go here with the first one I have on my list. Chevelle McPherson. What was Oh my that? God. Chevelle is an attorney and Chevelle really talked about what is the roadmap for you to take precaution and to really not being in defense mode, but being in offense mode on how you start your company. It was an ama amazing talk, so many takeaway. She is so bright and she really was talking about the wisdom that when we start as entrepreneurs, we don't want to take the steps to really set it up properly. So we end up with getting sued and all of that. It was, an ama it was amazing, amazing. The best defense is the great offense, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. Next up, next up, we have Brandy Shaver. Brandy, with Brandy, we talked about automation. Um, she really went into like, how can we create time and how do we gain more time as entrepreneurs? So automation, automation, automation. She gave so many, so many good, good tips. What, what's time? You know, yeah, that was that was the beauty of it. She she really went into it. I was like, what do you mean creating time? And then she went into this automation. I was like, wow, that was so powerful. Yeah, if you got no automation, I mean, you're 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 like, it's it's horrible. Yeah. I, I've been doing, I've been working on this automation thing since 2005. If you and automation as well, maybe she touched on it. It has to work because yeah. if you automate the wrong things, good lord, you got some problems to sort later on. Yeah. So. And, that, and you have to pay so much money to have someone really like to fix it, right? Yeah. So that's another place where offense is the best defense. Yeah. So we have Steve Hunt next. What's cooking with Steve? 
Well, Steve Hunt was talking about, are you riding the income roller coaster as an entrepreneur? What are the steps to, to enroll? He really switched from, instead of talking about sales, he was talking about it as we enrolling people. How can you be in control of your sales? How do you want to break through your sales obstacle? It was fascinating. Is this aimed more, more, towards more high ticket sales? Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Well, it sounds yeah. like. Yeah. Beautiful. And the high ticket sales, by the way, are people. The high ticket that's, sales. That's exactly where, where he went. He was like, you know, instead of looking at it as sales and, you know, like high ticket, what would it look like for you to look at it as it's just a human to human uh, talking with each other? It was fascinating. Really fascinating. And he had an, uh, he had an incredible gift. So I, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. By the way, I am probably Steve and probably Katya and probably anyone who's been in the field a little while am totally unsellable. I decide if I buy something. I don't buy because you twisted my arm. That's I mean, right. I know what's good. So treat your people you're dealing with wisely. They will don't insult their intelligence with sales tricks. That's right. Work with That's being at ease with what you're selling and sell it all the way out. Yeah. And then so, and roll them like, yes, like, yes. like give, yeah, just, just give them the, the, the power, the of, opportunity to yeah. invest. But now, I mean, don't, don't no, I'm what, when I say sell them really, I, I mean, like there can't be any ifs or buts inside of you. You can't be making any type of tricks, you know, that's the deal. Okay. That's the thing. And just enroll them in. That's so what right. do we have next? We have Margo Freytag, Margo. Margo talked really, uh, she was talking about having a vision and uh, time management. And she said something, she said, tackle the frog in the morning. And I was like, the frog? And I was frog. like, is it because I'm French? Because it, like, you know, people say frog. Yeah, yeah, French, We're French frog, like, yeah. No, oh, no, no, it's just your biggest item. How do you, you know, like it, it's so much easier. The thing you don't want to kiss in the morning, kiss that first. There you go. It'll right. turn into a prince, baby. Here you go. Angel Tucci, the uh, media matchmaker, what was she talking about? Yeah, she was talking about what's really ordinary to most entrepreneurs, it's really magic to others. So creating exposure is really creating cre cre credibility. Credibility, credibility yeah. yeah. It's the same word in English, credibility. Um, so she was really talk to, talking about like, you get to sell your knowledge versus, you know, selling your time. It was it was really interesting to see the different step of PR. Okay, so for, for like, so people are listening to this, it's the difference between, say you're selling Sharpies, and you're known in the media or you're not. That's right. The difference in how you sell your Sharpies kind of stuff. That's right. And the fact then to you, selling your Sharpie is ordinary because you have your Sharpies, but to others who really need a Sharpie, oh. it's magic, okay. right? And, and so she really went there on what we think is so, like, you know, for you and I, we speak, it's ordinary. I speak all the time. Like you could just send me a text and Katya, let's go. I'm like, okay, I'm ready. Well, for others, they think they do what that. we bring. Yeah. So they think what we bring is totally extraordinary. It's magic. And yet a lot of time we don't look at it that way. Okay. Thank you. It's beautiful. And I know Angel personally, she's awesome as well. I'm sure yeah. all the other ones are awesome. I just don't know them personally, not all of them. Yeah. Anna Kowalska. Kowalska or Kowalska? What was no, going Kowalska. on there? Kowalska. And uh, so Anna, I actually had met Anna through, uh, through a mastermind. And we had no clue. I had no clue it was her. I wasn't connected to the last name and neither she was she was with me. So we actually knew each other very well when we got on the interview. And so I made the interview super powerful. We, we both did something on leadership. So how we took it on, how do you align um, yourself and what you do with what you were meant to be and what is your unique and sole purpose in your business? It was so... Now so that's an unfair it. advantage. When you tap into that, that's not fair. That's right. See? And, Let's and, say yeah. <laughs> yes. so there's there's two people selling Sharpies. One of them, it's is, you know, it's aligned with the mission and the soul thing. It's like you what I was you know, at three years old, that's what I wanted to do. And the other one's like, nah, I'm selling Sharpies. 
yeah. who's selling more Sharpies. Yeah. 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 No, it's so, it's so true. It, it was really, really good. Beautiful. Jenny Vukov. Can. I know. Did you see all these cool last names that I got? You know, then uh, I thought that was really cool. International, um, baby. I know. That's it. Uh, we really, we really talk about why do we make our daily tasks so complicated? And she had a really cool backstory on how she got to this, you know, time management and and uh, rephrasing her. Her, her time working on me four hours a day. And uh, so she she really dived in and gave a lot of strategies on how can we really, um, how can we really, uh, uh, comment on dit, compress, uh, compress. Uh, compress, compress the same word. How do we compress our days? We're still doing what we, you know, what, what we want to do without making it complicated. See, we're making links people. So right now we, a few speakers in, we know we need to kiss the frog in the morning. It compresses the day with a bit of automation and selling and doing a thing that there's a line. You got more time, more money, and your frogs turn into princes. Yes. What do we have here? Tina Torres. Oh, Tina. So t what you don't know, it's if, if, you, um, if you follow the Angel and Tina show, uh, Angel Turkey. And That's where I saw, yeah, I saw her yes. name from events on LinkedIn. Yeah, okay, I don't know her though. I don't know. Yes, her. yes, yes. So they do a show together. And Tina is uh, the gratitude uh, coach. So gratefulness is really at the start of everything. When, whenever you are with a client, do you go to, do you do just what you were told to do, what, what they're paying you to do, or are you going above and beyond? And really the gratefulness is at the core of every relationship in your business. We totally dived into that. It was fascinating. I, I have gone on, on their show many times, so I'm very familiar with her. So it was, it was really good to connect on a totally deeper level and really bringing the audience what at the core how do we really uh bring in gratefulness in our businesses do you, do you know patty farmer no i just saw a quote on linkedin 7 20 minutes ago by uh, patty farmer she was saying you can either look at the lens of everything in your in your day through uh take it for granted yeah. or take it with gratitude yeah there you go. Okay. Changes your whole vibe, changes the vibe of the people, changes the vibe of the state, and okay. then your lives and then your shows. And it can translate into more sales, of, uh, not just sales, but I mean, really impacting the world on a different level, different yeah. vibration. Totally, totally. What do we have with Emily Louise Wilson? Alors, Emily Louise, we went into health and mindfulness and how does health and eating healthy and working out is really the way to go for you to operate at a maximum capacity in your business. Fascinating yeah, how everything is related in our body. That's not even fair. <laughs> totally, totally. Again, totally. Let, I don't know why I'm what's obsessed with Sharpies today. I've never done this before. Who's selling more Sharpie? The, the, the person, I, I, Katia, I, I know a guy who's into uh, pranic living. The guy has an eaten, now is a, 44 days he has not eaten wow. a few weeks back uh, no a few months back he did seven days no food no water oh, la vache. for a pranic process living on prana then so that so that's the extreme so there's people who sleep three hours a day four hours a day so let's take someone who sleeps let's say three four hours and eats you know a few little things here and there is full of energy all day long versus the other person who's sick Constantly eating fast food and, and uh, you know, no energy, no mental focus. Yep. They just sit in this car, like taking two seats. Yeah. Who's selling more Sharpies? Yes. Right. <laughs> there you have it. Wonder. We have pen. <laughs> Sorry? I say, you know, there's no wonder here, you know, like what, what we fuel our, what we fuel our body, how, how, and, and what's the intention, right? What's the intention for him doing this versus... Is there even an intention when you eat fast food all the time? Yeah. Yeah. You know, beautiful. Beautiful. We have Pam Perry in the house. Okay. So Pam Perry is a huge PR person who really deals with TV show. And she really went into um, PR. I th have really three stages. You know, when you start as an entrepreneur and they're, they're really, she went in detail about how 
they tell, you know, she, her company really tells people what to do. And then the middle, like you, you start, you really know your message, you really know who you are. And, uh, and now you can, they, they're going to hold your hand through a head, right? You're doing your press release and all of that. And then those third, third stages is where she's really your coach and she gets you on TV shows. Yeah, you got to know, because I mean, you, you can't start a business two weeks in and go on, you know, That's big, right. you know, like the Today Show two weeks That's in. Exactly and you're not, what she, not even ready. That's exactly what she talks about. And her gift, her free gift is to die for. You all want it. You all want it. I, can I, I have actually, it too? Yeah, can I was going to say, I, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you totally can. I, I, I took it. I was like, I'm taking it. Many, many. See? Yeah. For anyone listening to this, I mean, these gifts, like the gifts that I'm giving, it's not some sort of a, a quick PDF I whipped out on Canva. It's, it's an actual course, you know? So whatever Pam is giving here, yeah. I, as a speaker, Katia, as the organizer, is like, I want that. So, That's and this right. is all included free. Just you just sign up to the thing. And Katia was telling me she's doing business with an amazing person, right? running the show behind the scenes and that amazing person has made it so that you can have the recordings of the summit for free as long as you register during the summit. That's right. That's right. So if you register like the last day or after you got to pay for the recordings, of course, everybody knows that, right? You got to get upgraded to VIP. You yeah. need to pay for this. Yeah. If you just register today or right now during the summit, you're not even supposed to, but you know, they've been, You know, they, they're doing this to help you out. It's That's it. free. It's, All it's the Black Friday week. So why wouldn't we be in giving and generosity, right? Next up, we have Paulina Milana. I could say that word all day. Paulana Milana. Oh, Paul and listen, you want to listen to talk. Her accent is just, oh my gosh. So, so Spanish or Italian something? Yeah, I think she's... Uh, You know what? I don't remember. I don't want to say something because I, yeah. I don't want to be, I don't want to get it wrong, but With yeah. Some beautiful accent. Oh my gosh. You know, beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful lady too. Uh, she talks about what's your North star and yeah. how do you really leverage your story and leverage your madness? She was like, you know, everything that you think was so weird about you or crazy about you. This is, what you own when you take your story and put it on paper. I thought that was really magical. I'm starting to like her already. I'm starting to like her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. We have Sarah Werner. Oh my gosh, Sarah gave us so many tips and strategy on marketing and branding. And she really dissected What's the difference? I asked her the question, what's the difference between branding and marketing? Because most entrepreneurs are so uh, using one for the other and vice versa. So we totally yeah. dived into that. Nice. Very important. You can save $20,000 a month for two years by knowing the difference properly between these two things. Yeah, totally. You know, it's so important. Darlene Shortridge. She brought us the stages to bring all of your, um, she, she, you know, she's a, a writing coach. Yeah. Yes. And all of the steps to bring their story to life. So she's a, I, I, yeah, like I, I want to say it was all about like writing and, and of course I'm going through that with memory. So just bear with me, but it was all the different stages on the, how do you bring your own story to life? Yeah, a lot of because there's a classic saying you can't read what's on the label right. when you're inside the jar. Oh, I love that. That's so, so I mean, good. you're trying to write about yourself, it's like you're in the jar and you, you can't, unless you got a mirror. So yeah. maybe think of Darlene as a mirror here that helps you write about yourself in a sort of specific way because it's, you know, it's something. Yeah. We have Danielle Alexander. Alors, Danielle, talk about what are, uh, what are business owners doing to conquer their business? And a lot of time it's, um, it's, they don't have a, you know, they don't have a vision. So how do you bring your vision to really conquer where you're going and what step you are going forward to? Because we started this with Tony Robbins, ladies and gentlemen. I know, I know. Compressed decades and the days. I mean, the vision thing for a lot of people, you know, Katia, the, the first 
step into personal development is, you know, the Tony Robbins of the world or maybe the Deepak Chopra's at the time Wayne Dyer. This like, that's what gets people in the door. Yes. And a lot of people go down some rabbit holes and then you, they go for, and then they come back to, well, you know, it's got to have a vision. Yes. So at one point, yeah. You yeah. go deep and come back on the surface. That's right. That's right. If you don't know are where you, you're going, how are you going to get there? Are you going to ask me what you talked about? Because I would love to answer it. What did, uh, what was that? Sylvain Haché. Sylvain, Sylvain, talk to us about what is the difference between uh, getting a warm lead and a code lead. And what does that have to do with public speaking? Huh? Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. Is it, am I good or am I good? Oh, uh, yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's pretty important, you know, to make the difference in, in, in terms of cost per lead in terms of lifetime customer value, in terms of service sales cycle. I mean, plus for those, anyone who's doing paid ads, plus all the changes in iOS 14 and 15 for retargeting, that talk just became more valuable. Uh, boom. boom, because of that. Thank, thank you, Apple. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. So tell us about the gift that you gave us. Instead the of gift? you talking about it, why don't you talk yeah. about it? Um, a few months back, you, uh, you know, Kimberly Crow, the amazing Kimberly Crow. Yep. yep. So I teamed up with Kimberly Crow and we know that a, a thing that stops, everybody knows public speaking is something we should be doing. Everybody, if you want to sell Sharpies, you know, you got to get on TV, you sell the damn Sharpies. If you, you, you know, you have to be at the convention of the, of the plastic makers, you know, to build your brand and you got to speak there. Everybody knows, but I'm shy. I'm caved in. I'm self-conscious. Yeah. So this is a whole workshop, three hours, where I take imposture syndrome and I crush it. Mm. Not once, but twice. So there's two different actual processes. You live inside yourself. I guide you through like some sort of a hypnotic process. People are in deep trances and they're living internal experiences that crush the imposter syndrome. There's two of them. The first one is the your blind spot of greatness. And the second one is the natural leader creator. Ooh. Simply amazing. Yeah, it's, it's really great process. But then Kimberly Crow takes the mic. You know, Kimberly's like, oh, all right. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she's on fire. <laughs> and, yeah, Kimberly gives them the four, gives you listening, the four types of stages you can speak on. Because once you're not shy anymore, for a lot of shy people, they're, they're not used to speaking because they were shy. Now, I take the shyness away. They go, well, what do I speak now? Kimberly says, here you go. There's four types of stages. And here are the mistakes, because I grilled her right on the spot like this. Yeah. What are the four types of mistakes that you, to avoid on each type of these stages, right? So if you're speaking on that type of stage, don't do that, because then you'll get it. Mm. It's all there and free. And that's what I had. And by the way, I had the little lead magnet that I was working on that was not ready. It's, it, it's ready now. I finished it this morning. That's not what I'm giving away. This is an actual course. Uh, we sell for 197 US dollars. I'm in Canada, so that's like seven thousand dollars Canadian. <laughs> and uh, this is included for anyone watching the, the talk, subscribing and registering and getting my talk plus all the other talks for free. But that's free in US dollars, right? Plus tax. Correct. Only, so zero. That's free only in US dollar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's US dollars zero plus tax yeah. included today when you register. Thank you so much for, I, I, you know, that's what I love about you too. It's uh, I, I really want to thank you so much for your generosity because you, you're always in giving and, and catering to the audience. So thank you for that. Beautiful. Thank you. Then we have Chris Burrows. So Chris Burrows is in England and uh, England or Ireland. No, I think he's in England actually. And he really talks about what does it look like to be uh, to do marketing when you're an introvert? So he's a total introvert. And he talked so much about when you are an introvert or at the beginning you're shy, what does marketing and be seen look like online? It was really, really good. Fascinating. Uh, but- I would love to. Me and Chris, uh, I'll talk. I know I'll interview him because I have a, a, a theory that introverts make the best speakers. Oh, he, he was so, yeah. so sharp. So sharp. So I used to stutter like you see in the movies. I couldn't even speak. 
So I know what it is to, you know, be shy and not speak to people. I, I, I could not, like words would not come out. So yeah, that's beautiful. Nice to meet you, Chris. We'll talk yep. soon. Yep. Kim Speed. What about with Kim Speed? Kim Speed is, uh, she was all about why do you not want to be seen, heard, mm. or remember as an entrepreneur? She totally died. That's all I'm going to say. Because you oh. really want to watch the interview to see those three steps and how she leads you through it. Wow. Yeah, a lot of people, you know, I don't I haven't seen the talk, but I know there's a lot of people. Oh no, I don't want to go there. It would be yeah, too long. It was that, so, yeah. like, listen, yeah. it was so, so good. So good. And yeah, see, okay. With each of these speakers, there was something fascinating about it. Lil Barkaski. Lil is a uh, um, a writing uh, writing coach, author, as a, a ghostwriter and all of that. And he, re he uh, she really talked about the um, uh, how being an author when when you start in your business, when you're middle of the business, and you're at the end of the business, there's a different purpose. And being an author has many gifts, especially for someone who begins, than most entrepreneurs don't think about. Yeah. They think, I'll write the book. In when I'm when, if, That's yeah, but, right. That's exactly what you, where, where we went. Yeah, but if you write the book first, well, then this, 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 and that et happens. Voilà, so, et voilà. Yeah. See, it's a, it's a vicious circle. So if people sign up for a repeat, it's free, but you have to, so plus tax, right? So that's tax. So 30%, so zero to take your calculator out. So you go zero plus 30% tax. Let me see what Let we have. That. Let me do that. Oh, still zero. Zero. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> nice. So we got free. No calculator. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. Where it's, like I, 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 I used mine earlier. I would have. No, but cats. Yeah. I don't have a cell phone. I don't have a phone. You don't? I I actually do guitar solos. Like my day job, I'm a rock star. I do like guitar solos and stuff. Right? Yes. That, 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 like that, that that's not a Zoom background. That's my studio I know. here. I know it's it is. So, so I, I cut my hair now, but I used to have long hair and I do guitar solos. Now, what is the era that used to have long hair people doing guitar solos? That's the 80s, baby. Yeah. I live in the 80s. The synthetizer, the synthetizer sound. Yeah, I got one over there. Yeah, I, I'm, I live in the 80s. I know. It's so do I. So, so do it's I. amazing. I don't even have a cell phone. So when I have a calculator, it's this. I, I have a thing like this that says, you know, stay tuned. Yeah. Okay. And I have a timer. When I do interviews, I have like a real timer. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it, people. Thank register to the summit. Click the link below or think really hard about it. It might appear. Yes. Click or tap. You know, people with phones now, they tap on the thing. I think tap is the proper call to action. Yeah. Katia, it's been such an amazing ride. Oh, I'm sorry, people. We went overboard maybe two minutes and a half yeah. on our promise of centuries into less than 30 minutes. So I Thank let you, you so much for having me, Sylvain. Thank you. Keep in touch. Bye-bye. Ciao.